Today we are going to have a look on this embed which consists of a LPC 1768 ARM Cortex M3 processor with 512 kilobytes of flash. This embed is a special development tool, easy development tool, as you can see, which is a bread in breadboard style, plugs directly into a breadboard or other circuitry, and includes a lot of different peripherals. But let's have a look inside this box to see what it can what it contains. Inside We'll first see this quick start guide, which shows how to get started with the embed. And then we have the embed itself, this easy little module. We have a card describing the, the different peripherals of the embed, the pins in and outputs. We have a USB cable, a sticker, and also a another card, while this is plastic and this is paper. So that's it. But if we take a look at the embed itself, this easy board is uh, bread is for breadboards and on the board itself we see this LPC 1768 processor a USB connector a reset button and different IOs with different functionalities on the card we can see what the different function of the IOs is and uh, You'll notice that this board has actually got onboard Ethernet, onboard USB, both client and host. It has got three serial ports, uh, two SPI buses, one, no, two I square C, one CAN, and different analog in and PBM outs, and actually also one analog output, which is uh, connected to the DAC, the DAC. How this embed works? Yeah, well, it works in the way of easy programming through USB. On beneath the the board, we see the embed interface controller chip. This interface controller chip is connected to the USB port, and this controller chip takes care of programming the LPC ARM processor through JTAG but it also uh, is capable of doing USB to UART conversion so when you connect a USB cable to the computer you'll both see this embed board as a USB to serial device but also as a USB flash memory and this is where the embed becomes handy because when you'd like to program the embed, you just transfer the binary image file to the flash memory. The flash memory uh, is then read by this embed interface controller and it takes care of programming that binary image file into the LPC, uh, control the LPC microprocessor. The great thing about this is actually also that this uh, LPC 1768 processor has uh, possibility is possible for it to read the flash memory so you can also use the the storage to save other files images uh, sounds and data files which can be read and written using normal uh, a normal computer as a flash memory stick and can be read and written from the microprocessor so let's have a look at uh, what happens when we connect this embed to the computer. When we plug the embed to the computer for the first time, it will appear as a flash memory stick with a single HTML file inside it. Here on the computer, you'll notice the embed flash memory stick, 
and when we enter that you'll see an HTML file. When pressing this HTML file you'll be taken directly to the registering page. As the embed is uh, programmed you're making software for it using an online compiler. So you have to register an account on the embed community site to use their online compiler. Therefore it is only possible to create one account per single embed uh, board. You could also use another compiler. You're not limited to using the embed compiler only. As long as the compiler you use can generate a binary file, which yeah, most of them can do, you can just transfer this binary file to the embed. Uh, as I'll go in, as I'll show you now. Using the online compiler I've created an LED blink application and by dragging this over to the embed you'll notice it blinks and now it is actually transferred to the in, uh, to the flash and when we press the reset button the LPC microprocessor will be programmed through JTAG with this binary file. So this is the LED blink application. With this embed, everything gets very easy. Let's have a look uh, at the online compiler to see how much code is necessary to make this LED blink. In the window here, we see the online compiler, the online embed compiler. And on the left, we have the different programs I've currently made and here we'll see the LED blink. This is project groups uh, and in here we'll notice the CPP which is the main CPP, it's the project file, the C file and a library, the embed library which is going to be used in all projects as this con uh, contains the code for digital inputs, outputs, analog, analog inputs and outputs and so on. Here you'll see the code required for this LED blink demonstration. On the bottom of the embed we have four LEDs and when programming them in the software this is called LED 1, LED 2, LED 3 and LED 4. And you could also use uh, one of the uh, pins as an output. It will just be named P and then the number. In the code you'll see in the top we made a digital output uh, called my LED located on LED 1. In the demonstration we're currently seeing this is just LED 2. But using LED 1, assigning this to my LED, in our while loop we are setting my LED to 1, waiting for 200 milliseconds setting it to zero and waiting for 200 milliseconds. Now when I press compile the program is being compiled and you'll notice a file has been downloaded. Now when I transfer this file to the embed we can cl uh, click the reset button and we'll now see that, that it's the LED1 that is blinking. To use some of the onboard peripherals like USB, both client and host, and the Ethernet, you'll have to uh, use a special breakout board for the connector. So we decided to make that breakout board ourselves, a smart breakout board for the embed. This breakout board contains the necessary circuitry for connecting the embed to both an Ethernet port, a USB host port, and a USB client. The great thing about this is that you can, for example, connect a memory stick to the embed, or you can connect it to the Ethernet to Ethernet to make a web server or to use it as a web client. This port is great because the embed just plugs directly into it. Let me show you. Here it plugs directly in 
and you'll still have access to all the pins so you can connect them externally to other circuitry. We've made a demonstration code using both the Ethernet and the USB host uh, and actually also the audio output, the analog out. Generating audio from the wave signals saved on the memory stick and those wave files are being downloaded from a web server using Ethernet. So uh, let's uh, connect everything as uh, required and uh, let's program the embed to show the, you the example. I've now found the different wires. At the bottom we have uh, two wires going to uh, our speakers. We have a ground and a signal. I found a USB memory stick, an Ethernet cable, and the USB cable from before. So let's start by uh, hooking up the embed to the computer again, then uh, connecting the USB memory stick, connecting the Ethernet cable. And finally, connecting the audio. The ground wire is going to ground, and the signal wire will go to the analog output, which is located at pin 18. Everything is now set up, and we're ready to go. So let's program the embed with the compiled project by dragging the binary file to the embed flash storage. And before resetting the embed, let's start up a terminal application where we will be able to see the debug outputs of the project. And then let's reset the embed. When we reset it, it is being programmed. And in the terminal, we'll see that it is setting up the network, setting up the USB host, and now it's starting to get the, a message, a voice from uh, our web server. Now it's, it is downloading the voice and it is downloading a number, a random number. Now it starts the playback. The random number is 18. Now it tries to get a new number and then play it back. The random number is 56. Again, it gets a new random number by a PHP script. The random number is 73. Generates a WAV file for that specific number, downloads it to the USB memory stick, and plays it back. The random number is 76. The random number is 9. The random number is 8. So this is just a small demonstration on how the random number is 46. <laughs> this is just a short uh, demonstration on how you can use the Ethernet to download files, both to grab strings of messages, the random number we grab from a PHP script, and then also how you can download files to the USB memory stick, or you could download it to the internal. Uh, flash the embed flash storage or you could also download it to an SD card which is not populated on this board. Then it also shows how you can use the analog output the DAC channel to output audio from uh, a WAV file. We could also have made an MP3 decoder but it is, it is m much more uh, it requires much more processor power so WAV file it was the 
the best choice for us. But this project can definitely be uh, expanded, so you could use it as a uh, voice message generator, like for example, uh, telling you the new, uh, the latest Twitter or Facebook messages by speaking them out loud to you. Or uh, you could use it as a uh, watch, a speaking watch. So this is just uh, some of the examples on how to use the embed and the onboard peripherals. We would also like to thank uh, Silica Avnet as they donated this embed board to us so we could test it out and uh, make this project a reality. Also this uh, breakout board will probably be available in our store very soon. We'll make some uh, some revisions of it and maybe also add an SD card connector and uh, then we will make it as a kit for you to get started uh, prototyping with the, the embed. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope you uh, enjoyed this quick demonstration. If you're interested in the code, it can be found at our blog at blog.tkjelectronics.dk. Thank you for watching.